I am hooking up Esprema's switch to a new boat lift motor and need help wiring it. Do you have a multimeter or voltage tester? What colors are the wires? No tester I have black, white, green, red and orange coming out of the switch. How long has this been going on with your wiring? What have you tried so far? Just picked it up today I have wired it direct to be sure the switch works but that's it. Anything else we should know to help you best? No. Hello, I can help you with that. I will need the exact model number of the switch and the model of the motor or a picture of the motor data plate. Here is what I have. Moat. More. I have P1 with L1 and T3 with P2 and T8 with orange and T4 and T5 with L2 and T2 with red. When I put the switch in the down position it goes down. When I put it in the up position it just hums so I shut it off. The switch has L1, L2, red, orange and ground coming out of it. The red and orange are marked 8 and 12 in the switch. I cannot call please reaping by telling me what wires go together. There are no model numbers or anything on the switch. Can you take a picture of the whole switch with handle and everything? I may be able to match the model that way. Here you go. Okay. Okay, I will look for it. Is the handle red? I can't find a definite diagram on the switch. Can you tell me the layout of the terminals and which ones are jumpered together with the small metal jumpers? There are no jumpers. There is T1 coming in and L1 going out and there is T2 coming in and L2 going out and then a rang and red in. There are jumpers, I see them in the picture. The little silver metal strips that connect two different screws together. Okay, let me pull it back apart and take a look. Okay. 6 and 8 are jumpered together and 10 and 12 are jumpered together. Red is on 12 and orange is on 8. L1 and L2 are alone. T1 is in line with 6 and 10 and T2 is in line with 8 and 12. Like so. Here. Okay, I will take a look and see what I can figure out. I offer to step away for a while and will get back with you as soon as I can. I'm heading out for a couple hours also so let me know when you can I will be back near the motor all lot afternoon and evening. Okay, just to double check, right now, the power in from the plug is black and white on switch terminals L1 and L2 correct? Okay, I have the solution for you. You will need to get a new 6-wire cable to go from the switch to the motor since this is a different motor than was originally designed and switches a bit differently. In the meantime, you can use the green ground wire as a switched wire for testing, but don't keep it set up that way permanently because it is a safety hazard without a ground, especially around water, like a dock, at switch remove metal strip jumper that connects L1 to terminal 5. Connect incoming power white to L1. Connect white wire going to motor to switch terminal T1. Connect incoming power black to switch terminal L2. Connect black wire going to motor to switch terminal T2. Connect green wire going to motor to switch terminal 5. Connect orange wire going to motor to switch terminal 8. Connect red wire going to motor to switch terminal 12. Add motor connect incoming white to motor wire P1. Connect motor wires P2 and T3 together with incoming green. Connect incoming red to motor wire T8. Connect incoming orange to motor wire T5. 
Connect motor wires T2 and T4 together with incoming black. Here is a drawing as well. If your lift goes up when you want it to go down, swap the position of the orange and red wire at the switch or at the motor connections. Let me know if that does it for you. When I switch the wire it still goes down but only when I put the switch in the up position nothing happens when I put it in the down position but a hum then when I switch it back it goes down on down and hums when I try the switch and up the wires are still not set up correctly. You followed my directions above? If so, please send a picture of the current motor connections and a picture of all sides of the switch, 4 rows of terminal equals 4 pictures. Ok I will send the 4 pictures the wires are hooked up as follows and the lift moves down when the switch is on down but hums when switched to a P1 L2 T8 orange T2 red T4 T5 L1 P2 T3. Did you see my numbered list of steps to wire it? It looks like you didn't do anything I wrote. It must be followed exactly. Here are the instructions again. Ok, I have the solution for you. You will need to get a new 6 wire cable to go from the switch to the motor since this is a different motor than was originally designed and switches a bit differently. In the meantime, you can use the green ground wire as a switched wire for testing, but don't keep it set up that way permanently because it is a safety hazard without a ground, especially around water, like a dock, at switch remove metal strip jumper that connects L1 to terminal 5. Connect incoming power white to L1. Connect white wire going to motor to switch terminal T1. Connect incoming power black to switch terminal L2. Connect black wire going to motor to switch terminal T2. Connect green wire going to motor to switch terminal 5. Connect orange wire going to motor to switch terminal 8. Connect red wire going to motor to switch terminal 12. Add motor connect incoming white to motor wire P1. Connect motor wires P2 and T3 together with incoming green. Connect incoming red to motor wire T8. Connect incoming orange to motor wire T5. Connect motor wires T2 and T4 together with incoming black. I also posted a diagram. Um, you got it, it works, thank you so much. Where do I give you the rating? Alright. Glad to help. Looks like you found the rating. Be sure to replace the cable with Haas 6 wire cable as soon as you can. I would keep it disconnected until you can. Yeah, I've been fighting this whole thing for a year, thanks. Wow, well enjoy many days of effortless watercraft lifting. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.